Hey everyone, JJ Gravy here with a, uh, another layout update uh, for today. I don't have much done other than the uh, lift out. Uh, I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, I got this fairly done. I have to, I'm going to do this in the morning because I didn't have time today. But I did get this done. I am going to have to flat that out because it's not very flush. There are a few kinks in it, but um, for now it, it, uh, it's, <clears throat> it works. So that's the important part. Nice and sturdy, except on the edges. That's just because it isn't braced very well on either end. So just not a lot of weight on this. I'll eventually support it better. But for now, it works. But yeah, you just um, I'll show you guys in a minute. But and then it goes all the way down. It can go all the way back until the end of the thing. So a lot of room to move it if we need to. Uh, <clears throat> ah, excuse me. This is just two screws. And then same with that is just two screws in the latch part. But then uh, this goes up and it fits in. And then you push that and then we'll focus. Come on. There we go. A little better. And then that's pretty much it. The only problem is this. There's just a little bit of a gap and that can mean... Uh, switches lining up just a little bit off uh, possibly trains drilling it shouldn't affect it too much but my friend's coming over tomorrow to look at it um, he's been already for a long time he has his own layout which I will be doing a uh, walk around on uh, in an operating session so yeah I'll, um, looking forward to going to that uh, Sunday so I will do a uh, a tour of that hopefully so um, that's, that's that's pretty much it for this part I still have to do apply with this I'll do this um, as soon as I get up in the morning I'm probably just going to use that piece over there but you also notice that this is clean like wow and mainly because I have um, someone come over my friend over tomorrow looking at it hopefully so I also saying on the edges these are real smooth um, I didn't get very far. I got to about right here and it gets worse because I didn't do it very long. But yeah, you just notice it's it's clean and done and awesome. Or at least in my opinion, but this is a very um happy moment for me. Mainly because I've been just thinking about having my own layout for so so long. And I was finally able to do it. Um, from getting from that to this is just an amazing feat so but this is also I got from right there to right there with sanding so and that's just done with um, some stuff I got from school real nice sandpaper real strong gets it down real smooth see if I can focus the camera up enough maybe there we go a little bit you can it looks kind of rough because of the light on it, but it's actually really smooth, so it has a little bit of grab to it, but other than that, it's, it's fine. I'll eventually go over it with some finer grit, and it'll look real nice when it's done. But you may be wondering what I'm going to do with that. I'm just going to probably rip it apart for wood. Um, the plywood thing that's underneath that, I'm going to cut in half and then put on here so the dogs can't come in here and crap everywhere. So, <laughs> We'll have to do it over there somewhere, <laughs> but that's um, the main reason why I'm kind of making a wall is because the dogs gonna hear crap everywhere, and yeah, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want step in poop as soon as I come in here and run trains or ballast or whatever. So I still have to add this pole, and I'll eventually screw that in, and I'll uh, do the retaining wall. Then it will kind of angle off this way. It'll just go straight that way. That way there isn't such a big reach space, because if I was over there, I can't reach right here from over there. But I can reach fine from there right here. So this will kind of run, actually, parallel to that board. Just go the, only right here, that way my reach space is like this, and then over there, it's like that. So, that eliminates some reaching space, knocking over trees or trains or uh, just scenery for that matter. So... Um, 
trying to think. I don't think this, that's. I think that's it. Um, I'm not gonna do track just yet. I am gonna take a break, maybe a week or so, because I've been working my butt off these past few weeks. So I'm probably just gonna do a lot of touch-up stuff. So won't have too much updates. Um, but I will do an update on this tomorrow. Probably just another like sneak peek or something. That's not worth an update. But. Um, also this I was going to talk about. I uh, got this a long time ago. Ten years ago maybe. Had a red and a green bulb. I think it's a Lionel something. But I replaced it with two of these red bulbs. And then there's this nifty little thing that makes it flash. Fortunately they don't go um, in and out. But it's still kind of neat. I am going to put that right here. So that way when I come in. I'll, I'll just put this up the wall or something. Coil it up. I'll have it right there and I'll turn the switch on. And then when I'm down here. I will turn that on, just, I don't know, just something extra, just something alive, if you will, but, that's, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, I'm gonna go to bed, because I've been up for, like, 16 hours, but, yeah, anyway, this, uh, probably one of the biggest updates so far, not biggest, but, I keep saying biggest, they keep getting bigger, that's, that's a lie, but just more progress stuff, if you, um, if you understand, you know what I mean, but uh, I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next update.